The dimly lit tavern was a hive of activity, filled with the chatter of patrons and the clinking of glasses. In a shadowy corner, a lone figure sat nursing a drink, his eyes scanning the room with a practiced vigilance. This was Grant, a man whose life had been forever changed by the zombie virus that had ravaged the galaxy. Once a respected soldier in the United Earth Navy, Grant was now an outcast, shunned by those who feared the virus that coursed through his veins. But he was also a survivor, one of the few who had faced the undead hordes and lived to tell the tale. As he sipped his drink, Grant's mind wandered to the events that had brought him to this point. The outbreak on the UE and Ulysses, the desperate battle in the quarantine prison, and the hard-fought victory that had ultimately led to his exile. In the aftermath of the outbreak, Grant had been instrumental in convincing the UEN leadership to take drastic action. He had argued that the only way to prevent the spread of the virus was to send the infected far away, to the farthest reaches of the galaxy where they could live in isolation. Most had heeded his advice, forming distant colonies where they could start anew, free from the fear and prejudice of the uninfected. But there were those who had refused, those who had chosen to ignore the UEN's directive and strike out on their own. It was these rogue elements that now posed the greatest threat to the galaxy. They had spread the virus to new worlds, creating fresh outbreaks that threatened to consume entire populations. And so Grant had taken on a new role, that of a mercenary and a zombie hunter. He traveled the galaxy, seeking out the undead wherever they appeared, and eliminating them with extreme prejudice. His latest mission had come from an unexpected source, a wealthy merchant who had lost contact with one of his ships a month ago. The vessel had been carrying a valuable cargo, and the merchant was desperate to recover it. But when Grant and his team had boarded the ship, they found something far more dangerous than they had bargained for. The entire crew had been infected, transformed into a horde of ravenous zombies that now roamed the corridors of the once proud vessel. Grant knew that he had to act fast. If the virus were to spread beyond the confines of the ship, it could lead to a new outbreak that would be almost impossible to contain. And so he had assembled a team of survivors from the Ulysses and the prison, men and women who had faced the undead before and emerged victorious. Together they would clear out the ship and send it hurtling into the nearest star, ensuring that the virus would be completely eradicated. As Grant finished his drink and stood to leave, he couldn't help but feel a sense of weariness. The fight against the undead was a never-ending one, a battle that he knew he would be waging for the rest of his days. But he also knew that he had no choice. He was a survivor, a man who had stared death in the face and emerged stronger for it, and he would not rest until the galaxy was safe until the threat of the zombie virus had been eliminated once and for all. With a final nod to the bartender, Grant stepped out into the bustling streets of the spaceport, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. The merchant ship awaited, and with it, the next chapter in his never-ending battle against the undead. The merchant ship loomed before them, a massive hulk of metal and glass that hung silently in the void of space. Grant and his team had boarded the vessel just moments before, using a small shuttle to dock with the ship's airlock. As they stepped onto the ship's deck, Grant couldn't shake the feeling of unease that crept up his spine. The corridors were dark and empty, the only sound the echoing of their footsteps on the metal grating. Stay alert, Grant whispered to his team, his hand resting on the butt of his pistol. We don't know what we're walking into here. The team moved forward cautiously, their weapons at the ready. They had all faced the undead before, and they knew how quickly a situation could turn deadly. As they rounded a corner, they heard a sound that made their blood run cold. It was a moan, low and guttural, the unmistakable sound of a zombie on the hunt. Grant signaled to his team, and they fanned out, taking up defensive positions. They had barely gotten into place when the first zombie appeared, shambling out of the darkness with a snarl on its lips. Grant didn't hesitate. He raised his pistol and fired, the shot echoing through the corridors like a thunderclap. The zombie's head snapped back, and it crumpled to the ground, twitching feebly. But there were more coming, drawn by the sound of the gunshot. They emerged from every direction, their eyes glowing with a feral hunger. Grant and his team opened fire, their weapons barking and flashing in the darkness. They moved with a practiced efficiency, 
covering each other's backs and working together to take down the undead. But the zombies kept coming, wave after wave of them, each more vicious than the last. They clawed and bit at the team, their fingernails leaving bloody furrows in their armor. Grant gritted his teeth and kept firing, his mind racing as he tried to come up with a plan. They couldn't keep this up forever, he knew. Eventually, they would run out of ammunition, or the zombies would overwhelm them through sheer numbers. And then, he saw it. A cargo bay door, just a few meters ahead. If they could get through that door and seal it behind them, they would have a defensible position from which to plan their next move. Cover me, Grant shouted, sprinting for the door. His team laid down a withering hail of fire, cutting down the zombies that tried to block his path. Grant slammed into the door, his shoulders screaming in pain as he forced it open. He staggered through his team close behind him, and then he was slamming the door shut, engaging the lock with a desperate twist of his wrist. The zombies howled and pounded on the other side of the door, but it held fast. Grant and his team collapsed against the wall, gasping for breath and checking each other for injuries. They had made it through the first wave, but Grant knew that their fight was far from over. The ship was still crawling with zombies, and they had to find a way to clear them out and send the vessel into the nearest star. But as he looked around at his team, Grant felt a surge of pride. These were some of the toughest, most skilled fighters he had ever known, men and women who had faced the worst that the galaxy had to offer and come out the other side. Together, they would find a way to complete their mission and rid the galaxy of the zombie menace once and for all. It was a fight that Grant knew he would be waging for the rest of his life, but with his team by his side, he knew that there was nothing they couldn't achieve. And so, with a nod to his team, Grant reloaded his weapon and prepared to face the next wave of undead. The merchant ship massacre was far from over, but Grant and his team were just getting started. The cargo bay had become a makeshift fortress, a place where Grant and his team could regroup and plan their next move. They had barricaded the doors and set up a perimeter, using the ship's cargo containers as cover. But they knew that they couldn't stay there forever. The zombies were still out there, and they had to find a way to clear the ship and send it hurtling into the nearest star. Grant gathered his team around him, his face grim as he laid out the plan. We need to get to the bridge, he said, his voice low and urgent. From there, we can set the ship's course and overload the engines. It's the only way to be sure that the virus is completely destroyed. The others nodded, their faces set with determination. They knew that it would be a tough fight, but they were ready for it. They moved out in formation, their weapons at the ready. The corridors were still dark and empty, but they could hear the moans of the zombies in the distance, growing louder with every passing moment. And then, they were upon them. The zombies came from every direction, their eyes blazing with a feral hunger. Grant and his team opened fire, their weapons flashing in the darkness as they cut down the undead with ruthless efficiency. But there were more coming, always more. The team fought their way through the ship, room by room, corridor by corridor. They took down dozens of zombies, but it seemed like there was no end to them. Finally, they reached the bridge. It was a scene of chaos, with zombies lurching and stumbling among the wreckage of shattered consoles and twisted metal. Grant and his team waded into the fray, their weapons blazing as they fought to clear the room. It was a brutal, bloody battle, but in the end they emerged victorious. The last zombie fell to the ground, its head shattered by a well-placed shot from Grant's pistol. The team quickly set to work, their fingers flying over the ship's controls as they programmed the vessel's course. They had to be precise, to ensure that the ship would fly straight and true into the heart of the nearest star. As they worked, Grant couldn't help but feel a sense of pride in his team. They had come so far, had faced so much, and yet they had never wavered in their determination to see their mission through. Finally, it was done. The ship's engines began to hum with power, and the vessel slowly turned away from the star field, its course set for the blazing inferno that awaited it. Grant and his team made their way back to their shuttle, their steps heavy with exhaustion, but their hearts filled with a sense of accomplishment. They had done it, had cleared the ship, and ensured that the zombie virus would be completely eradicated. As they flew away from the merchant ship, 
Grant couldn't help but feel a sense of closure. He had been fighting the undead for so long, had seen so much death and destruction. But now, he knew that he had made a difference. But even as he savored that moment of triumph, Grant knew that his work was far from over. There were still pockets of the virus out there, still rogue elements that threatened to spread the infection to new worlds. And so, as he sat in the shuttle's cockpit, Grant knew that he would keep fighting, keep hunting down the undead wherever they appeared. It was a fight that he knew he would be waging for the rest of his days, but it was a fight that he was more than willing to take on. For he was a survivor, a man who had stared death in the face and emerged stronger for it, and he would not rest until the galaxy was safe, until the threat of the zombie virus had been eliminated once and for all. As the shuttle flew on through the endless expanse of space, Grant allowed himself a moment of rest, his eyes drifting shut as he savored the quiet hum of the engines. The cleansing fire had done its work, and the merchant ship was no more. But there would be other battles, other challenges to face in the days ahead. And Grant would be ready for them, always ready, until the very end. Thank you for listening to this story. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I'll see you in our next video.